What's up, beautiful babes? Your girl, sweet angel. Welcome back to the channel. Absolutely happy to have you here. And y'all, believe it or not, I'm coming through with what I said I was going to come through with. Y'all, I'm proud of myself, so pat me on the back, okay? Today, I am doing the try-on haul of the coats that I got from K Jordan. I say that I got, but these were all purchased with my own money. This is not a sponsored video. I am not an affiliate of K Jordan, but because the fact, let me tell you the story. Month after month after month, I would receive a little pamphlet or booklet or magazine or whatever you call it of uh, K Jordan fashions. And I'm like, what is this store all about? I never heard much about them at all or anything about them at all. So your girl decided finally to go ahead and order something from K Jordan. Okay, K Jordan, I got it. <laughs> Might be a story time because honey, listen, it's been a journey getting these coats. Probably I ordered them when the weather was warm and they only showed up last week at the doorstep. So finally I did get my package. But anywho, not to delay the try on haul, I just wanted to share that little bit with you. So we're pretty much ready to get started. I just need your help right now. If you don't mind, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit the post notification bell. Let me know you want more, more videos like this by showing me as many thumbs ups as you can, y'all. Tell everybody to go ahead and hit that like button and we'll get started with these coats that I got from K Jordan. Yes, so beautiful babes, I wanted to be cold weather ready, regardless of whether it was real, real cold, semi-cold, or hey, just want to look cute and look cozy. So that's what this entire try on haul is about. I got three different coats to try on for you. And I wanted to start off first with one type of coat that we all know about since the beginning of time. The pea coat has been on everybody's agenda, okay? every year time after time you will see the pea coat come up and this is the first coat that i have it's a textured oversized pea coat i have it in the size extra large y'all i was really concerned that the sizes were not going to fit so i did definitely size up to an extra large but i'm glad i did because me being a hippie healthy girl I don't think this would have made it around the hips. Now, I love this one totally. It met my expectations, exactly what I was looking for. It's super plush. It's made of polyester fabric and it has the front buttons. And the great part about it, I love coats with pockets. So it does have pockets in it. Now there is a lining in it. It's a kind of a polyester lining and it is uh, dry clean only. Do love it so much. The sleeves are extra long, which is expected for me because, you know, all the time. Uh, I'm about 5'3", I guess. I'm not really sure sometimes. I think I'm about 5'3". So this worked out really well for me. And of course, it's in the color of black. So I really love it. Very stylish. And I think this would is going to definitely serve its purpose. Now, this one I paid $69.99 for. Again, it's a black, extra large, textured, oversized pea coat. Now this one I have been eyeballing on several sites and I finally broke down and said, well, let me try K Jordan's. This is a belted faux fur collar coat. I do love this one as well. There's only one part of it that I really don't like and we're gonna talk about it. I got it in the color of caramel. It is an extra large. This one was priced at $119.99, $119.99. Now it's super sleek, I love it. It's definitely not wool, of course, but it is a polyester coat and it has uh, the belted waist, which I love because you can really class it up with this belt. And it has the removable faux fur 
collar on it. It's so stylish. I didn't take it off on here. Chances are I won't be wearing it without the fur. I love the fur. Totally do. Definitely is really stylish with the fur. That's really what, you know, kind of made me want it, you know, most of all. It does have these side pockets and also the back vent. So check it out. It's super long. And again, I'm about 5'3", that I can recall. Um, I love this one. It's, it's lined, of course, dry clean only for sure. And again, overall, it's polyester. It's not wool at all, y'all. And the caramel color, really stylish. I think I can really, you know, work this one well. I really always needed a coat that I can wear with dresses during the winter cold months. And this one suits the bill. I was actually looking for one with the hooded um, faux fur inside of it that I can throw the hood on and take it off like so. But since I couldn't find that one, this one worked out perfectly. And now finally, the faux fur shag coat. Girl, when they said shag, for real, for real, let me explain that to you. Now this comes in taupe. I did get it also in an extra large and it was priced at $89.99. This is said to be a dense, fluffy faux fur. It has the open front. There's no buttons, no zipper, no anything. Uh, it's an open front. I thought this would be really stylish in wearing some jeans and, you know, a turtleneck. Uh, very super cute. Or even the turtlenecks with the keyhole front uh, to show a little cleavage. But then you can also cover up with this little coat. It is so cute. I fell in love with it. This is one of my primary coats that I really, 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 really wanted. The outside of it is a, a, I guess you can call this, well it is acrylic. It's made of acrylic and it has the poly lining as well. It's dry clean only. This taupe color I thought was very great for wearing, you know, winter white or many people wear white in the winter time. I thought that would be super great with this particular one, but y'all, y'all, this coat I wore it this past weekend. I wore brown with it, okay? Uh, I was so, so, so disappointed. It sheds all over the place. It sheds when you move. It sheds on the clothes. I had lashes on and honey, it was all in my lashes, getting in my eyes. And I'm so, so, so disappointed. Now, will I send it back? I probably won't. I'm going to try to brush it and kind of get some of the shedding over with because I still love it. I still want it, you know, but I'm just disappointed in that. It can cause some detrimental issues with your eyes. I'm telling you, this acrylic got everywhere, all over my clothes. I was looking like a hot mess after that meeting and I was not thrilled with that, period, period, okay? I was not thrilled with that at all. That was the only purchase that I felt that was like, mm-mm. This one did not meet my expectations whatsoever. Now, I understand K. Jordan is not, you know, a high-end type of a brand, but that one is really shady. That one is, like, not good at all, period. I don't care who's selling that one. It's not a good one. But, anywho, overall, this is the complete trial and haul, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for your patience and waiting it out, but I had to wait a long time to receive the items and that is why it took me so long to get to it but i hope you did enjoy the actual try on there will be more there will be more and there will be more some things that i'll be buying on my own some things that'll probably be sent in pr i'm gonna try them on for you absolutely i will i am your girl sweet angel thank you so much y'all i've been loving hanging out with y'all so so much on this channel, Life with Sweet Angel and Mike will be sharing all kind of goodies with you. So make sure you stick and stay. 
by hitting that subscribe button, tap that post notification bell, and y'all already know, when I ring your doorbell, please open up, watch the video. Absolutely. I'm signing out for now, your girl, Sweet Angel. I will see y'all on the next video. Make sure you tell somebody where you're hanging out at. Right here with Life with Sweet Angel and Mike. And I will see you on the next one. And make sure you do what? That's right. Share your girl with your world. Bye.